So, I watched Netflix's new true crime docu-series, Bad Vegan, and, like the title suggests, it was pretty bad. If you don't know, Bad Vegan is a documentary series about a restaurateur named Sarma, who was convinced by her husband that he was a secret spy who had access to millions of dollars that could help her ascend to a superior state of being, make her dog immortal, among other things, and to help her ascend to to this higher being of existence, he needed to put her through a bunch of tests, most of which involved taking hundreds of thousands of dollars out of her bank account. Eventually, she embezzled money, defrauding her investors, and being unable to pay her employees before going on the run for a year. Main issue with Bad Vegan Fame Fraud Fugitives, which is the full title, is that this is a one-hour story stretched to four hours. This documentary has tons of filler so much filler information is repeated what feels like dozens of times the first episode has so much irrelevant information we basically hear sarma's whole life story there's about five minutes devoted to how she bought a dog we get interviews from like a dozen employees that worked at the restaurant and we did not need all these interviews like oh this documentary would have fallen apart if we didn't have the part-time bus boy way in this documentary documentary should have been like a one hour special maybe even less than that another issue with the documentary is how one-sided and subjective the whole thing feels it feels less like a look at the case and more like a testimony that sarma committed no wrongdoing everything she did was the fault of her husband which she was in a terrible abusive situation i'm not saying that but the documentary touches on some things that she did that were shady and she did do them no Knowingly, knowing that it would harm other people financially like she did knowingly defraud investors she did go on a trip in Europe with money she was supposed to use to pay her employees this is one of those documentaries that doesn't have like an outside person documenting it it's all just interviews so it's just people telling their side of the story without an objective voice going over the facts and maybe saying how the facts contradict this the facts contradict this they do press sarma and some of the other interviewees a little bit a very small amount with a few questions but for the most part they don't at all it almost feels like a token effort to just acknowledge some of the more negative aspects literally at the end of the documentary sarma's father says how he thinks she may have gone into a relationship with this man for his money originally because he convinced her that he had millions of dollars and was a secret agent for the government which is an aspect that should have been brought up at the beginning to give a more rounded portrayal of what exactly their relationship was because you don't get the feeling in a documentary she was it's unclear whether it was just for documentary filmmaking or there is something strange going on with the situation because he, uh, another documentary about a cult-like person who scams people out of money is a video series by the youtuber OKI called the cult of Sherry Talee which devotes a lot of time talking about how this man weaseled his way into these people's lives and convinced them that he was a great person which led to them being devoted to them unconditionally she talks about hating this man before they even got married this is like a situation you don't know if it's because she's looking at it with hindsight or if she never really loved him and if she never really loved him that should have been in the documentary once again this feels less like a documentary and more like a legal defense for Sarma all in all the documentary is full of filler and feels like it's leaving stuff out. I would not recommend you watch this. It's boring. If you're interested in this story, there's probably a YouTuber who made a video about this way better than this bloated documentary. Anyway, thanks for watching. What's your favorite documentary? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to like, subscribe for more content. Bye bye!